Hello YouTubers, this is Vega. I just bring you my newest uh, project on the new um, Xbox One X water cooling system. Enjoy. I'm just covering the numbers so nobody can see the numbers there. This time I'm using a 120 radiator. You can use a 240, it will fit even, you know, flush. So you don't need to worry about buying a stand for that. So a 240, that's, it's up to you if you want to use a 240. The 120 is pretty good. It came out pretty good. Still using the same connection for the fan, the water tank light, and the water pump. Still using the PETG tubing. It's really nice, pretty good. Um, yeah, and before I do all this, I was able to to test, you know, that the moment on this thing, how hard this thing used to get. Uh, this is the old, I mean not old, you know, the, the heat sink for the system. So I was able to hook, to hook up this thing with my thermometer. I placed a sensor here. And I, the thermometer used to read it from 146 to 152 by just watching a movie, okay? Just a movie. And then I opened the system, I take the, all this thing apart, and I replaced the, the, the thermal paste. The thermal paste with, the, with this system, it was already dry. So that's not a, a good thing. So if you leave that thing in there it will actually break your system so when i replace the thermo the old thermo paste the drive thermo paste that microsoft put on this thing uh the, the thermometer was reading from 125 to 132 so there's a big difference right there so then i take all this thing apart again start working on the water system and this room it runs pretty good it is quiet and it goes from 85 i think to 93 94 it doesn't go to over 100 yet because i haven't tried the system within with a game with a um, with a uh, 4k game I was try this on only on on movie. So yeah, the system is nice. Looks really awesome. I like how this thing came out. For being my first Xbox console, it came out pretty good. I never owned an Xbox uh, console in my life before, so but this one came out pretty good. So if you guys plan to open it. I highly recommend it to replace that thermal paste, but that's on you, okay? Uh, if you open it, then you will avoid your warranty. So, it's easy to open this. It's really easy to take this apart. It's not a hard. All you need to do is also mark the screws or make a, a draw picture in there so you know where all the screw goes. But it's really good idea. If you, if you replace that thermal paste, that would be good for your system if you if you can you afford a water cooler then go for the water cooler that's the best thing okay if you want to your system looks just like this one then you need to spend a lot of money you can make a water cooling for less than 200 dollars i think but it's not gonna look like this or may or maybe better who knows i don't know um so yeah so like i say it's on you if you open it don't blame me later if you break your system, but I don't think you're gonna break it because it's really easy to take this thing apart anyway. So let's t let's turn this thing on. So you guys can see how this thing looks. That's the phenomenal water pump, water tank. Turn off the light. You're not gonna hear no sound because. Um, I connected my Xbox to my PC monitor. That's why I went green because the Xbox logo is green. So that's why I went green on this. And green is my favorite color anyway. Let's 
pack of the Xbox. Let me turn this thing, the light off, so you can guys can see how this thing looks on the dark. It looks pretty good, like Snake say. Just the side. I hope you guys like this modification if you guys like it well press the like button if you guys don't like it well you can press that dislike button that's why the button is there you can subscribe for more context uh, and then I don't know what to do with the system you know this is my new system my new Xbox you know I never own a system and uh, Xbox system in my life so I don't know if I want to keep the system or sell it I don't know Maybe I said, I don't know, I just think about it. So I don't know what games to play on this thing anyway. Because I'm a, I'm a Sony, you know, I'm still on, on my PlayStation, you know. I like my PlayStation. I just did this just because I wanted to do the water cooling on the Xbox. I want to be the first one. And like I said, it came out pretty good. I don't do this for living, I just do it for fun. It's really nice. It's really cool to do this kind of modification. So yeah, and for now I'm going to wait for Sony to bring a new system, maybe a PlayStation Pro Slim or PlayStation 5, and then I will do a, a what I call them. So yes, um, I hope you guys, you guys enjoy this and share it please, and comment. Or maybe you can recommend that game for me so I can start playing Xbox. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. So, yeah. Any question, just ask me and then I will uh, happy to answer any question that you, you can ask. Probably in the future, uh, if I keep this, I will change this light. This LED light to green so everything can match. And I'm not going to remove this blue. The, the all cool. I'm going to remove that. Alright, so I'm out. B8. I'm out, and I won't. I won't keep you waiting for too long. Okay, guys. So I'll probably bring a new another video on this thing. How this thing is running. So yep. And thank you, B8. I'm out.